My name is Lauren Ekstrom, and welcome to the second class in our Meditation in Motion series called Your Body, Your Home. If you'd like to experience all of my classes, series, and programs, be sure to visit me over at innerdimensiontv.com by following the link below. When you join, you get your first 10 days for free. Hit subscribe, and let's begin. We'll start standing. Coming to the top of your mat, separate your feet about hip distance and close your eyes. Breathe in the way that you know how to, the way that you practiced in our first class together in this series. And as you continue to breathe, begin to lean forward toward all 10 of your toes, almost like you were about to tip ahead. And notice what happens to your body and to your breath. Can you sense what it's like to be ahead of yourself, to be outside of the present moment and the consequences of that, the restriction to the breath, the tension in the body? And then keeping the eyes closed, start to lean back into the heels as if you were going to fall backwards. And energetically, can you sense what it's like to be in a state of procrastination, as if you were avoiding the present moment, resisting? And how this too restricts the breath and causes tension in the body. And then with the eyes still closed, find center. And notice what happens, how the breath begins to deepen and the physical body begins to soften. Draw your hands together at your heart, receptive to the present moment, the felt sense of both feet on the earth, both hands connected at your heart. On an inhale, circle the arms to the sky, reach up. As you exhale, pull your hands right back down towards your heart feeling the feet on the floor, the breath in the body, the hands at the center line. Circle both arms up, inhale, sweep and rise. And then exhale, turn to the right, reaching your left arm forward, your right arm behind as you create a twist. Circle the arms back up to the sky as you turn to center, inhale. And exhale, twist to the left, right arm forward, left arm behind you, spread the arms out wide, feet still grounded into the mat. Back to center, inhale, both arms lift up. Hands to the heart as you exhale, your body, your home, a safe place to be. Reach the arms up, inhale, sweep and lie. Exhale, hands drop behind, catch and interlace. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart up, roll the chest open, take an in-breath. And keeping the hands interlacing, forward fold as you exhale, letting your head go as you draw your knuckles to the sky. Keep your hands interlacing. You could even put a little bend in your knees. Scoop your heart forward and on an inhale, circle both arms all the way back up high. And exhale, draw the hands to the heart. Shift the weight into the right foot and step the left foot to the back of the mat, coming into warrior one, your forward facing warrior. And inhale, circle both arms up. Ground down into the feet. Descend your right thigh toward your version of parallel to the mat. And as you press your back leg strong and straight, take an inhale here. Chest to your thigh as you exhale, sweep your arms by your sides. Circle and lift back up to warrior one on an inhale two more times. Exhale, chest down, arms back as we invigorate some strength. Rise up, inhale, first warrior, arms lift, last time. Chest down, exhale, reach the arms back behind. Inhale, circle up to warrior one, pause at the top. Then open up to warrior two as you exhale, and we're going to hold here. Turn your gaze over your right middle finger as if you could gaze at the horizon. Sit down into your front right thigh, and you might start to notice some intensity arising. The arms getting a little bit tired, the right thigh starting to quiver or burn. And just remember that it is okay to be with things that are intense 
and even uncomfortable. Your body is always happening in the present moment. You can bring your attention back to your breath. Find a place that feels okay to be with as you care for yourself, as if you could say, I can be with this. On an inhale, straighten the right leg. Turn the right toes in to mirror the left. Parallel the outer edges of the feet with the outer edges of the mat. And then drop your hands behind your back, just like we did a moment ago. Catch an interlace. Draw the knuckles down. Take an inhale. Lift the heart. And then exhale, fold between the legs. And if the hamstrings are tight or the back is tender, put a bend into the knees. They don't have to be straight. Let your head go, let your knuckles lift, get out of your head, back into your body, feel your feet connected to the floor. And that intensity that we just moved through has already shifted into the past. It is an opportunity for us to remember that nothing lasts forever. Keep the hands interlacing, scoop the heart forward, inhale the crown of your head back to the sky, and then bring your hands to your hips. Turn your heels in, turn your toes out, bend your knees, and then you can bring your forearms to press in front of your face or hook your right elbow underneath your left, turning your palms in together to touch as we sit down for five. Hold here for four. Forearms pressing in toward each other for three. Awakening the strength of the legs for two. On an inhale, straighten both legs, spread the arms out the height of the chest, kick the heels back, turn all 10 toes straight ahead. Pivot the right toes forward to the top of the mat, bend the right knee coming back to warrior two, and on an inhale, reverse your warrior. Reach your right arm up and overhead as you stretch back. Exhale, circle both hands down onto the floor, spin onto your back left toes. Heel toe your right foot to the right. Drop your left knee down behind your left hip. And if your knee is tender, you can always place a towel under your knee or double up your yoga mat for support. Place your left hand underneath your shoulder, either to the floor or to a block. And then inhale and circle your right arm to the sky. Turning your navel toward the right, take a deep breath in. And exhale, sweep your right arm up and over your head. Just a gentle twist. Feel the sole of the right foot pressing down. Feel the palm of the left hand lifting the chest away. Inhale your right arm back up. Exhale your right hand down onto the mat. Tuck your back left toes under, lift your left knee and step the left foot up to the top of the mat, feet hip distance. Hands to shins, inhale, take the rounding out of the spine. Exhale, fold and drop the head. Then bend the knees, drop the hips, sit back into chair pose, will invigorate some strength through the foundation of the body. Turn the palms down, press and rise to stand as you exhale, letting that tension and that intensity dissipate. Two more times in a flow, bend the knees. Can you do something strong without creating unnecessary tension? Then exhale, turn the palms down, straighten the legs, drop the arms by the sides. One more to go. Bend the knees, inhale into this wide version of chair, soft eyes, soft toes, soft face. Exhale, palms down as you stand, draw the hands to the heart, soften the shoulders down the back, let your body be breathed. Shift the weight into the left foot, float your right foot to the back of the mat. First warrior on the left side, inhale, circle the arms up, rotating right hip, right waist straight ahead. Then exhale your chest to your left thigh, sweep your arms back behind you, unhurried, unrushed. Inhale, rise up to warrior one, two more in a flow, linking breath to movement. Exhale, chest down, arms back behind you, just stay with your body. Inhale, rise up, first warrior, one last time. Exhale, chest down, arms back behind. Rise up, inhale, warrior one, and exhale, open up to warrior two. Now you know what's coming and we're gonna be here for a little while. You could close the eyes or you could keep them open. 
and then you decide where to place your attention. If the left thigh is really intense or your arms are really tired, why don't you try placing your attention somewhere in the body that feels really nice to be with? Maybe it feels really nice to put your attention down into your belly because you can feel your breath there. Maybe it feels nice to put your attention out into your hands as they extend out and create space across your upper back. Find one place and breathe through it, knowing that the quivering is part of it. And on an inhale, straighten the left leg. And there it is, we're already past it. Turn the left toes in to mirror the right. Drop the hands behind the back, and this time interlace one finger over the less natural way. Draw the knuckles down, lift the heart up, take an inhale as if to clear the slate. And exhale, fold down, lifting the knuckles off the back, dropping the head, bending the knees if that's best. Let the head go and scan through the body. And you just notice, is there anything unnecessary that you're clenching or gripping? Can you let go of the tension in the toes, the hinge of the jaw, make a little space between the upper and lower teeth? Scoop the heart forward, inhale, lift the crown of the head to the sky, and then bring the hands to the hips for stability. Kick the heels in, turn the toes out, bend the knees. Remember, you could always stay right here. Bring either the forearms together to press in front of the chest or hook the left elbow underneath the right as the palms turn to connect and sit down for five. Be with an opening in the shoulders and the hips for four. Do something to love yourself for three. Grow stronger for two. Last one. On an inhale, straighten both legs, spread the arms out the height of the chest, parallel the feet once again. Left toes turn forward, bend the left knee, sit down into the left thigh. Flip the left palm to the sky and on an inhale, reverse your warrior, lifting your left hip up as you stretch your left arm back. Then exhale, circle both hands down to the mat, pivot onto your back right toes, heel toe your left foot to the left and drop your right knee down behind your hip, patting it up if you need that. Maybe a block underneath the right hand, right hand under right shoulder, inhale your left arm to the sky and exhale your left arm up and over the crown of your head as you create just a gentle spinal twist. You might sense an opening through the top of the right thigh, a strengthening of the inner left thigh as it hugs in, all these places in your body that you can anchor your attention away from distraction, unnecessary narrative, future or past reflection, right here, right now, the body's happening in the present moment. Inhale the left arm up, exhale the left hand down, lift the right knee up, and then step the right foot up to meet the left, top of the mat, feet hip distance. Hands to shins, inhale, fold forward, exhale. Bend the knees, sit back, chair pose, inhale, both arms lift. Turn the palms down, press and rise to stand as you exhale, strength in presence. On an inhale, re-bend the knees, circle the arms up as we remember there's also strength in simplicity. Exhale, press and rise to stand. One more of these. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees, reach the arms up. Exhale, turn the palms down, press and rise to stand. Hold there, arms by the sides. Turn the palms forward, close the eyes and be in your body. Notice how quick we are to fidget, to fix the clothes, to look around the room, to do something other than be with our embodied experience. And can you stay just for a moment? Float the hands to the heart. Inhale, circle the arms to the sky. Let's let it all go. Exhale, forward fold, dive down. Chest out, inhale, make some space. Hands down as you exhale, step back into downward facing dog and we'll just pass through here today. 
Hands the distance of the shoulders, heels reaching for the earth. It doesn't mean they'll touch in this lifetime. That's okay. Take one more inhale here. Knees down to the mat as you exhale. Crawl the knees forward, sweep the feet to one side, lower to your sitting bones, and then recline all the way down onto your back. Keep what you have, knees bent, feet hip distance, and cross your right ankle over your left knee as you create a figure four shape. And be honest with yourself. Is there already a stretch in your right hip? Then stay here. Otherwise, maybe you float your left thigh to your chest, grasping the hands either behind the left thigh or around the left shin. Both are right. Find a place where you can be in your body, your body being breathed. And in this practice, you've combined class one and two, the first foundations of mindfulness, the breath and the body. And these are considered the first foundations of mindfulness because they are always happening in the present moment. The mind has a tendency to wander into the past or reflect forward into the future. And so you can always bring yourself back to where your body is anchored to something solid, to the rise and fall of your in and out breath and come back to the present moment. If your left foot lifted, lower it down to the ground and then slide your right thigh tightly on top of your left. Cactus your elbows, shift your hips to the right and drop both knees up and over to the left, taking an easy twist. On an inhale, come back to center, uncross the right leg, place the right foot to the floor. Left ankle over the right knee, make that figure four shape once again. Remember, you could stay here or you draw the right knee in toward the chest. Let the back of the head rest on the mat. Let the eyes rest. And there's nothing you need to do. There's nothing you need to make happen. Isn't that amazing? Your one job is to be here in this shape, receive the pose as you receive the breath. And it is a reminder that you can actually receive the present moment as you train focus and concentration. Everything else can wait. If the right foot lifted, lower the right foot down, slide the left thigh tightly on top of the right, Scoot the hips to the left, cactus the elbows, and drop both knees to the right. So you did eagle pose with the arms in our standing practice. Now you're doing it with the legs in our reclining practice, and we build class to class. So something to look forward to in practices to come. On an inhale, come back through center, uncross the legs, reach down, give the knees a goodbye squeeze. And exhale, let the legs go. Feet about as wide as the hips, arms by the sides, palms to the sky. We'll take a cleansing breath. Deep inhale through the nose. Open the mouth, exhale, and let it go. And this is a moment of integration. Nothing you need to do with the breath and nothing you need to do with the body, as if you could now be the embodiment of meditation. I'll encourage you to stay and rest if you can. Otherwise, re-bend the knees, 
Hug the knees into the chest. Rock your way up to sit. As you come to a comfortable cross of the legs, join the hands at the heart. In gratitude to your body and in gratitude to your breath. Know that they are here for you throughout the day to drop you right back into the present. Thank you for your practice. Namaste.